Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Bradaring! It is Wednesday, the 3rd of May, 2023. I'm looking at this Fortnite Chopper the 7. This is the third incarnation. There was the original Chopper, there was the completely gold one, which just came out recently, and now I've got this one, which is brand spanking new and many of you may not have seen before. Uh, Chopper the 7. Why has it got Trigger Fish when it's with the 7? I don't know, but I'm kind of happy. It comes with that rocket launcher with the rocket coming out, which looks amazing. I have got the original Chopper back in UK, but I've not actually touched it. I just bought it the other day from eBay, and I paid under 10 quid with delivery. How cool was that? Or was it like 12 quid with delivery? I can't remember. Anyway, I've now got this version. I think this paint apps and this looks really good. The paint job, the decals looks nice. Looks very cool. Triggerfish looks fantastic. And if we go to the back, we can see that we have Master Series Cube Queen, who I missed out on coming soon. Whiplash Vibing, who I've got review, top right corner now, we see that review. Uh, Malik looks pretty cool, coming soon, I want that, and the taxi I've got in the UK somewhere. Not much else to see on there. I'm going to open this up, and we'll get into this. If you want to see these reviews as soon as they're uploaded, please consider joining the Patreon, link in the top right of your screen now. You can cancel any time, so it's worth checking out even just for a month. Okay, let me uh, unbox this, and we'll get into this review. Let's stay tuned, back in an instant. And here they are. They do look fantastic. And I'll say this, Triggerfish is much better than I thought it'd be in hand. I actually really quite like him. And I haven't sort of got any of the ugger, any of the ugger, any of the other trigger fishes. They didn't really appeal to me. This one is great. And his rocket launch and that rocket coming out is absolutely fantastic. And his top is pretty cool too. It's got features, which we'll look at the moment. Unfortunately, it didn't come with batteries. And I don't know if I've got any. I will have a quick look in a second. When I get to the helicopter, and if I have got some batteries, I'll stick them in and see if we can get the uh, lights and sounds or else to work with that. So let's get a close look at Triggerfish first and his rocket launcher. Look at uh, let's look at Triggerfish first himself. It's a decent sculpt. Head's got lots of character. Shame the helmet can't move. Great sculpt on the body. I'm not so keen on these on the arms, mind you, but never mind. Um, legs, not so keen on those parts, but the rest of it is really quite cool. He does look quite good. I'm digging this far more than I thought it would. And I could even see me having a platoon of these guys, you know, in one of my universes or something. Very, very quite cool indeed. Rocket launcher, check that out. You can just unplug... The rocket itself looks a bit with naff without it, unfortunately. Here's the rocket. Now, what would be nice, can you unplug the, You can unplug the rocket from the actual uh, smoke trail. What would be nice, though, if you could insert a LED in that, and that would light up. That would be amazing. That's something to, to think about, since I've got quite a few LEDs now. But you put that rocket coming out into this rocket launch, and you've got this fantastic effect. It's almost worth buying the chopper for that rocket launcher, but uh, that chopper cost me about 30 quid, so it wasn't cheap. But it is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to quickly look for some batteries for this chopper and be back in an instant. Stay tuned. Okay, I found some batteries. So let's have a look at our chopper. Same as the other one, far as I can tell. So, of the uh, three rotor blades which spin beautifully, has to be said. Cockpit opens from the front. Chair will cop, uh, pop up. There's a peg for the back. They hold on the handles here. No articulation, but that's quite rubbery. So it moves around. Um, there are some dials inside, but you can't. There's no paint work. You can add to that if you wanted to. No paint apps. Side parts come down. And more foot pegs again for figures. Oh, the same as the front uh, chair. The two seats fold down, and back pegs for figures again. Underneath is pretty plain. The back's got the parts. There's no sound effects, it's just lights. You've got the uh, tail section. These have... I'm not sure why these have movement. Does it do anything? That moves around there. And these have some movement. It doesn't do anything, which is a bit of a shame. And then the feature is just... You, you turn on here, and then you activate the turbo boost. And you get the lights going on. That's it, just lights. But it does look pretty cool. It's like a little face, actually. So it's pretty cool. Nice little feature. I'd have preferred maybe this tail part turning around in here or a bit of a sound effect, but still pretty cool. 
very nice uh oops one pot just popped off very nice chopper here i do like this and this color scheme looks so good has to be said and that trigger trigger fish with this awesome awesome rocket launcher with rocket and smoke trail is almost a highlight even though i bought it for the chopper <laughs> um i don't know why i like him so much i just think he's such a great looking figure maybe it's just a rocket launcher but it looks great as well uh let's do a quick size check actually on the chopper since i'm here I've got my tape measure lengthwise from tail to the front is about 40 cm approximately height wise is about 18 18 and a half cm and then whip wise i'll do this with folded well, open blades and and uh folded blades so whip wise let's do the widest to widest would be about about that far i'd imagine blade to blade you're getting about 35 cm and if the blades are all folded down or backwards rather or inwards whichever you want to call it let's go the other way should know really there we go the chopper itself is not so wide we're looking at about 13 to 13 and a half cm and trigger fish is your normal fortnight four inch 10 to 11 cm size figure very very nice indeed happy i got this happy I got another one of these and i'm happy i got it in this color with trigger fish and this awesome awesome rocket launcher he can fit in we're going to struggle with that little chair down first. Nope, chair doesn't go down first. There is no footwell. How is he going to fit into that? Yeah, he's going to have a bit of an issue trying to fit in there, I think. Let me just try with his legs completely bent. Not easy for trigger fish to fit in, as you can see, because there's no footwell. Uh, I'm not going to waste time trying to fit him there, but he should fit since it's a Fortnite figure. That's a bit of a shame. Let's look at trigger fish's articulation to wrap things up. So here he is. His head is a left and a right. There is small up and down. There's no side to side. Shoulders all the way around. Outwards. He gets well over the flat bicep bend. He gets 90 degrees over. Those sort of strange bent arms. Wave articulation you can see on his hand. That is really quite stiff. There we go. Other side is the... Uh... Oh, that's so stiff. Is the same. Trunk forwards, backwards. He can turn side to side. Waist he can turn. Hips would be full splits, but his pockets get in the way. There's a hip turn forwards, the pockets getting away again, backwards is not great. So it's, I'll be tempted to cut off those pockets on there. Uh, double kneecaps, skinny legs, hopefully, yeah, nice and tight. Then we come to his uh, feet, there is, or there should be a small swivel side to side. He's got a very good tippy toe and he's got a uh, very, very good. Yeah. Dorsi flexation. All around pretty cool figure. I, do, I don't know why I like this so much. <laughs> very, very nice. You could buy a cup. You could buy a few of these. You could swap the uh, heads around, paint up the uh, arms to be sort of more human, I guess. Or maybe swap the lower arms or something. And you've got sort of decent sort of army figure going on. And use the head in your sort of fish army or something. Very, very decent indeed. With that fantastic rocket launcher, which can stand up next to him there. Great set, worth tracking it out if you can find it when it's released internationally or officially. I've no idea if it is yet. I do recommend that. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon link in the video description below, along with discount codes with various 118 scale action toy figure sellers who sell other stuff too. So it's worth checking those out to get a bargain too. I'll see you next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.